This is Daniel Presedo, and I'm here to discuss 3D in Photoshop CS6. I created an example in CS5 that showed how to put a plane on a runway. It's another Google 3D warehouse model, and I'm revisiting it for CS6 because justifiably, I got a lot of criticism for saying it took way too long, it was horrible, and you know, you were right. So we went back to the drawing board and, and fixed that. New 3D layer from file, bringing this Collada file in here. I'm in my camera mode already. I get that kind of match to the horizon line. In fact, you know, this thing is pretty large. I'm going to scale it, drop it down to the ground. I can use my bounding box to spin it around. And you know what? I'm, I'm basically done at this point. I can actually render this file out. And, and um, wow, one of those Google Warehouse models uh, that has a back face. Luckily, if you get these kind of triangles popping up on your scene, most of the time it can be fixed. If you go click on the scene, go to your 3D properties, and check back faces, and that generally will fix most models. And there you go. Uh, you could make this even more realistic if you wanted to take it a step further. We could just copy the. We're going to copy the back of the, the background here. Go to our environment. Create a new texture. And we're going to open that up. I'm going to click there on the layers panel. There we go. We're going to take out that light. Probably don't need it now. Re-render. And there you go. That's a much more satisfying experience. And I hope that all the people that criticize it are coming back to look at it and give us another chance. I think you're going to be pleasantly surprised and quite happy with the results in CS6.